when you want to lend your Mac and don't want to share any of your data or don't want to know about what they are doing, you can use the guest mode on Mac. But how do you do it? Go to settings. And then in settings, you want to scroll down till you see users and groups. And in users and groups, it will show you all the users that are currently available on the Mac. But on the bottom, you can see we have a guest user. Click on that I and then make sure allow guests to log into this computer. It will ask for your password, put that in, click on unlock. And here you can see we can now have a guest user. Then we have some more options like limit adult websites, especially if you're giving it to a kid, you may want to turn that on. And then we have allow guest users to connect to share folders. So if you want, you can turn that on. What it basically does is allow file sharing between users. And now you can see among my many users, we have a guest user. If I click on that, you can see for the first time your computer is going to start onto a secure web browse only system. So once you click restart, you can start using this profile. So here we are onto the very weird guest user. So you can see we can connect to whatever Wi-Fi we want. Click on join. And that is basically it. You can now browse whatever website you want. You can just go here, YouTube. Now the text on my laptop may not be very visible because I'm running the Tahoe beta version, but we have YouTube and here you can see we are on a browser. Now to end this session, you can just go over here, click shut down and that is about it. So it is only a web browser search session. You can't actually have a proper user. So whenever you shut that off, it's bye bye to your data.